Let us learn another factoring strategy. This time we will try to factor unfactorable trinomial. Yes, it is indeed unfactorable. Factor 9x to the power of 4 plus 8x square plus 4. Now to factor a trinomial, normally you will try to find two numbers whose product is 9 times 436 and sum is 8. But in this combination, it's very difficult to find one. So here is a neat strategy, which I call kind of completing the squares. And let us see how to work about. So let's rewrite the question, which is 9x to the power of 4 plus 8x squared plus 4. As you notice, 9x to the power of 4 could be written as 3x squared whole squared and 4 is 2 square. If somehow I can make the center term as twice these two, then I have a perfect square here, right? So that is to say, if I have a term which is twice 2, that is this term, times that term, which is 3x square, then I can actually factor this as a perfect square. Now what is this term equals to? Let's try to figure this out. That's part of the strategy, right? So what we find is that this term is actually equals to 2 times 2, 4 and 4 times 3, 12. So this term is 12x squared. Now what do we have here? Well, we have 8x squared, not 12x squared. Now to get 12 here, what can we do? Well, we can add 4 x square and subtract 4 x square. Now, if we do that, then we do get a term which is 12 x square here, correct? So, that is the strategy which we are going to work with, okay? So, let's apply the strategy and redo this step. So, this is part of our strategy. That's the reason why we are doing the next step. So, what we do here is... Now let me just move on with solving the question in the correct order. So we'll go from here to the next step which is to add and subtract 4x squared. And the idea is to get a perfect square. I hope you appreciate it. So what we will do here is we'll write this as equals to 9x to the power of 4 plus 8x squared plus 4x squared, right? Minus 4x squared plus 4. And now we get 12x squared. Do you see that? So we have 9x to the power of 4 plus 12x squared plus 4 minus 4x squared. Now as you can see, this is a perfect square, right? And we can write this as equals to 3x squared plus 2 whole square minus 4x squared. And now we can apply difference of squares and we can factor it. So we could write this as 3x squared plus 2 plus 4x. 4x squared could be written as 2x, sorry. It would be 2x, right? Times 3x squared plus 2 minus 2x, right? Or let me rearrange this and write this as my final answer as 3x squared plus 2x plus 2 times 3x squared minus 2x plus 2. So that is how we can factor it, okay? Now let's go through this strategy once again and try to understand what we did, right? Now what we really did here was we started with an expression which is 9x to the power of 4 plus 8x squared plus 4. And we notice that these two terms are perfect squares. So, we could use a substitution, rather, we can add and subtract terms, which can make it indeed a perfect square. So, we added and subtracted 4x squared, making a perfect square and difference, right? So, we applied two things here. First is, you should know what is a plus b whole square equals to, is a square plus 2ab, right, plus b square. And we made the center term as twice AB. And then at this stage, we applied the knowledge of 
a square minus b square equals to a plus b times a minus b and factored our trinomial expression and got the result. I hope you appreciate this method of kind of completing the squares. Thank you and all the best.